check out my new channel Ambient Caliber for all kind of ambient and other music mixes. Perfect for an example studying, relaxation or meditation. Click the link in the video description to listen right away. And as always, Windows 10 and 11 retail keys are still $12.50 only. Check the link in the video description if you would like to purchase one. Welcome to the 11 years of Skyrim 2022 Ultimate Graphics mod list. 2022 is again a new year for modding and that while I said last year with uh, 2021 10 years of Skyrim Ultimate Graphics mod list, I said I would end there and to be honest I didn't really plan on creating this new mod list. I thought 10 years of Skyrim Special Edition modding that would be a good you know, good year, 10 years to end the modding because I thought all the biggest uh, graphical mods have been released so far, you know. So I had a little, little side note saying if some big changes happen, if some big mods are about to be released, I will create a refresh of my tutorial. But here we are again, and that is because of Bethesda. They thought it would be a great idea to re-release Skyrim for the fourth time having first the original Skyrim from 2011, later of course Skyrim Special Edition, we have Skyrim VR, and now again Anniversary Edition. And not to mention of course also all the console re-releases we had. But yeah, here we are again, 2022, 11 years of Skyrim. And the reason is for the Anniversary Edition, uh, Bethesda also thought it would be a great idea to <coughs> release a new framework. So with that, since I did finish my 10 years of Skyrim Ultimate Graphics mod list in uh, last year, all of a sudden the complete um, base stability mods and system mods were all broken because of Anniversary Edition. I had to run a downgrade patcher and sure that worked, but I didn't really like ending my tutorial like that. So what I thought is let's just wait a couple of months, like three, four, five months to be sure that pretty much every mod of any willing mod author is updated to the latest version 1.6.x.x. So I can understand it's a little bit confusion now having Skyrim Special Edition and Anniversary Edition. <clears throat> what is the difference? Skyrim Anniversary Edition is Skyrim Special Edition, but with some extra content creation club stuff from, uh, from Bethesda, that's pretty much it. And later on, I have a link here somewhere which, where you can go to and where you can see literally everything which has been included. But most of all, it is armors, um, I don't know, extra stuff, fishing, I, I, I thought it was. For me, what's the most important thing is with this new framework, Bethesda did optimize and improve their engine. That's what I think is the most important stuff. And sure, all the other fun armors and fishing and all those mods in Anniversary Edition are fun but not really yeah worthy for me for them to have it re-released again as the anniversary edition so um i would say let's uh let's jump into the map page and see what we get if you just want to start installing everything you don't care about the history you don't care about the introduction you just want to start right away you know what you're going to do with the wabajack auto installer then please check the next video i have where i only will handle the installation steps but for now, I would recommend watching this video so you have a little bit of an idea of what you can expect and what we're going to install. So, um, yeah, so like I said, you have a special, uh, special edition still. Any anniversary edition you can upgrade for 10 to 20 euros, depending a little bit on the source where you find an upgrade key and where you will, um, yeah, decide if you want to have the extra anniversary edition content. If you just have special edition, <clears throat> don't worry, that's fine. You just have to upgrade it to the latest version 1.6.x.x. So this mod list is based on a Wabajack auto installer. And a Wabajack auto installer, what it will do pretty much, and I know uh, this is probably one of the most asked questions, it will literally download Mod Organizer 2 and literally download from all the Nexus mods, uh, their sources, all the files and place them in order uh, which where they should be 
and it will handle 89% mm, of everything. So just a couple of manual steps are required after that, but after that it, it just takes five minutes or something for those last couple of steps. For the rest, in theory, the Wabajack auto installer will literally install everything automatically and you will get a mod organizer and I can show you that here. Let me see, um, install packs. This is how it will look. It will just get a mod organizer and everything will be installed. As you can see here, I have the anniversary edition purchase. So I have the upgraded version, which all this creation club stuff, but this is how you should get it. Uh, all these mods in this specific order, including as well, all the plugins in the specific order and that just saves you so much time and this has been requested so much that i'm finally after uh literally two months i think of you know headaches painful testing compiling errors etc etc i finally have a um yeah a working wabajack and i did up update it uh, a couple of times it's now at 2.2 already since i did do a beta wabajack on my discord so i want to thank for that before i forget everyone who has provided me with input on this Wobbajack list and with that I was able to create the final version which should work for everyone. So I would say for the rest of this video let's just quickly go through this page what you can expect. So here I will um, explain a little bit because these are the most asked questions. Will this work for my Skyrim Special Edition? I don't have Anniversary Edition. Yes because your Skyrim Special Edition if you update this on Steam it has version 1.6.x.x where .x.x is what is available at this moment. So um, the older version before anniversary edition was version 1.5.x.x. That's important. So it will work also for your Skyrim special edition, but you have to update it to the latest version. And also Wabajack is just an auto installer for your mod organizer. It will automatically download mod organizer and automatically will add all these mods. So there is no reason anymore to do this manually because I originally planned to create two versions, an automated version of Wabajack and a manual version of Mod Organizer 2. But there is no reason anymore to do this manually because the Wabajack will install this for you. And this means that you can add, change, remove all kinds of mods after you're done with this tutorial. So here I described that a little bit and then we're going to continue. Um, as you can see, uh, probably from your end now, there are two videos here. And this video, like I said, will only uh, handle the page introduction stuff, etc., etc. And the other one will only handle the installation step. So I will try to make that pretty fast so you can start modding right away if you like. Requirements. Um, there is one thing I would here also explain what the difference is. Anniversary Edition just has these content creation club stuff. You can find everything here. What is in the uh, Anniversary Edition if you purchase the upgrade. So this is all the creation club stuff here you can see a little bit mostly armors you know i know there is fishing in the game but as you can see mostly armors maybe some weapons uh monsters upgrade uh skins this is just yeah you know you can buy it if you like but you don't necessarily have to there's one thing which is important if you need to run on the downgraded version so if you're using the downgrade uh patcher for gameplay specific mods or other mods, then you cannot use this Wobbajack auto installer. So either you have to ditch your specific mods which require version 1.5.x.x uh, and update to the latest version or wait until your gameplay mods are also updated at version 1.6.x.x. Also, a Nexus account um, is needed, but a premium is absolutely recommended. If you do not have a premium account, you are able to use the auto installer still and download every mod, but you have to do that manually one by one. So that's definitely not recommended. Um, if you have a premium account, even if you just purchase it for like one month or something, then you can run the Wabajack auto installer and everything will download, uh, download automatically. Here you see also the system requirements. I would like to point out a GTX 1080 Ti or higher is really, really needed for these amount of graphics and texture quality we are going to install. So please keep that in mind. Preparation, some stuff we will handle during the installation video. And then the same with installing the Wabajack. It's a pretty simple process. The only thing is um, sometimes it can fail during installing because it cannot reach a mod or it may be you know, under construction and for that it can fail a couple of times, but 
I made sure to have only included Nexus mods, uh, hosted mods in my Wabajack. And for that, no external stuff like Google Drive, ModDB anymore, because those really messed up the compiling and installation. It's uh, yeah, probably new if you've never used any Wabajack, but I try to make it as stable as possible. And then we have some manual steps after Wabajack. It is only pretty much this. So we're only going to install Skyrim Script Extender, the EMB, uh, binary is the EMB. Uh, yeah, my EMB files, um, some uh, other main files, which can not be handled by the data folder <coughs> and one patch. And the reason why I did not uh, include these in the Wabajack because Wabajack can handle them is because they are being hosted externally somewhere. That's the main reason. So that's why you know why we have some manual stuff. And from there, we're pretty much done. We need to just sort some plugins, um, even while this option is a little bit broken in Mod Organizer, but for us, it will work fine and we will manually correct some plugins. And then it's some stuff like disabling the Steam overlay and uh, disable automatic updates. And that's pretty much it. Then you're done. So. For the rest, yeah, you know, some links. If you like my content, what you can do, you can, if you could, would consider a donation, that would be uh, would be great, of course, but not necessarily needed. And let's see one moment. Let me mute my phone. Okay. Um, and also the FAQ for the frequently asked questions. And for legacy and reference, because I know a lot of you people were still in the middle of the uh, old mod list. So sorry for that, that I did hide it this week, but uh, I had to do that because there's so much that changed on this page that you really would get confused. You will have the legacy old one, the two manual with all the manual mods here uh, at the bottom. And that's pretty much it for this mod list. So as you can see, it's still hidden now, but while you're watching this there, the page is visible and you will have these two videos here. So I would say that's pretty much it for the, um, for what you can expect. And I would like to point out again, this mod list works with Skyrim Anniversary Edition and Skyrim Special Edition version 1.6.x.x. And also it will automatically download all the mods and mod organizer. So you will have a complete setup mod organizer with all the mods and also don't worry about my creation club stuff it doesn't matter if you have that it's not being hashed in the wabajack so i would say um check the next video where we will handle all of the installation steps one by one so you don't have to read it if you don't like that and you can simply follow along so thanks for watching this introduction video and i'll see you guys at the next video where we will install everything